I'll be good. Try. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Forever and a day, the primary work of God has been to call the estranged back to His grace and favor. As the Eucharistic prayer we've been using during Lent reminds, again and again, you called us to return. Through prophets and sages, you revealed your righteous law. And in the fullness of time, you sent your only Son, born of a woman, to fulfill your law, to open for us the way of freedom and peace. The church, as Christ's body on earth, exists to join in God's reconciling work so that we may be true to our mission, namely to restore all people to God and each other in Christ. Through the Great Commission, we seek to lead those who do not know Christ into a saving relationship with Him as we proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ. But our ministry does not stop with those uh, who have never heard the word. In other words, reaching people who have not heard the good news. That certainly is primary, but it's not uh, the total focus of the church. For God also calls us to reach out to those who have left his embrace. There are many who have left St. Stephen's and other church congregations either because they've been hurt or offended, or sometimes folks have just wandered off for one reason or another. The fact is, is our congregations often have more alumni than active members. Maybe if we spend some time reflecting on the parable of the prodigal son, we might be enlightened on just what reconciliation might look like. Without going in depth into the story, for it is a familiar one, uh, you'll recall that the younger son turned his back on a life of goodness and entered into a broken world. When he turned from his ways and went home, his father greeted him with love, joy, and even thanksgiving. The elder son, on the other hand, embraced goodness but mistakenly believed goodness has to be earned. He had to learn that God's grace cannot be earned but rather it is something that is given. It's something that we receive, and it's something that we give freely. One brother needed to learn about repentance and forgiveness. The other brother needed to learn about love and compassion. My hunch is that each of us has been, or one day will be, older brother, younger brother, older sister, younger sister. Each of us has been wronged by another or has been the one doing the right thing but lacking in compassion. All of us find ourselves in need of reconciliation with God, ourselves, each other. We can't do it alone. And the good news is that in Christ we become new creations. People with capacity for love and for connection. My prayer as Lent continues is that we will live into what God has called us to be. Ministers of reconciliation in a hurting world. May God's holy name be praised. Amen.